Well, good afternoon, magandang, hapon, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Boy, do we have an exciting episode for you today. Today we are doing an update, a big update on that build in Barangay Mabine, Mr. Mendoza's house. Five months into the work construction process, you are going to be extremely surprised at what you see today. So let's go ahead and get into today's episode. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. All right, I actually have the house in front of me, but I'm not gonna show you the house at this moment because like I said in the intro, you're gonna be extremely surprised. Uh, you would not believe the amount of progress that has gone in five months of the build here. Normally houses of this magnitude, uh, to get to this process or to this stage of construction, I'm gonna say at least 12 months to where they're at right now, but this is five months and you're gonna see in just a moment. Uh, the, the, the house, the last time we visited, we walked inside, there was a foundation. Some of the form boards were being done. They didn't even have concrete in them yet. So I want you to see today what it looks like after five months. Okay, I got my hand here right now <laughs> because right behind my hand, uh, remember five months ago, four months ago, it was just a foundation. I want you to see what it looks like today. Isn't this incredible? So anyway, most of the house, the construction of the house, even including the roof, this is the stage that we're at after about five months of construction. Remember the garage, the, the huge two car garage here that we have on the side of the entranceway. Let's go ahead and go into the entrance. Let's walk through the house and then we're gonna talk about some of the features inside here. Now I want you to look at the beautiful architecture of the entranceway to the house it's, it's hard to imagine from the original walkthrough that we did that it was going to look like this now if you remember if you also remember the last video we were interviewing the company that actually manufactures the simulated wood siding here and this isn't wood this is something that's like a cementuous type of a board that they have here uh, that will last forever. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the detail of the precast in just a moment for all the window frames. Absolutely beautiful. And now, the gutter. This is a huge gutter system that will handle any capacity of water flow that they could possibly expect. And we get a lot of water flow here in the Philippines, especially during typhoon season, which has started already. All right, now we're into the main area. Remember the kitchen? The kitchen area, the dining area, that's all this area. And it's, I, I will tell you, it, it's, it's, it's so big in here. I will tell you there are houses, many houses here in the Philippines that are built that this area you see right here is the entire, the entire house. I'm gonna say this area right here of the, the dining and the kitchen area, it's about 100. I'm gonna say, in just looking at about 100 square meters just of this area right here. Uh, you can see much of the roofing, uh, the drop down hardware that the ceiling tiles are going to go into, the gypsum board, so to say. Most of that is up. Most of the electrical is completed up inside here and they're still working on a lot of the roofing. They still have half of the roofing. We'll try to get a drone view uh, later on so you can see from the sky, uh, bird's eye view, what it looks like. As we talked in the past about the cost savings of the form board construction, 
as opposed to the standard Kentucky with concrete hollow block construction. Uh, this one right here, you save a full step. You don't use any plaster coat. The plaster coat is that mortar mix that they'll normally throw on there and they'll do the corrections of any uh, anomalies inside the wall that are normally associated with concrete hollow block. Here, it's all form boards which is perfectly straight, and then right on top of that, you're gonna go ahead and use the plaster coat to correct anything and make a very smooth finish. So it's very easy to apply the base coat and the final coat of the paint afterwards. This saves a lot of money and time, both in the cost of the construction as well as the labor. Now over here to the right of the entranceway, remember this is the office. This is the office of Mr. Mendoza. A very nice the rounded sculptured window that's in the front. And what's really nice about this also is that it's going to get a lot of shade. The roofing is gonna provide a little bit of natural light, but mostly shade, so you don't have any direct sunlight coming inside while he's doing his work inside this very nice size office space inside here. If I remember correctly, to the right of this is a bedroom. Uh, right next to the opening for the garage. Well, let's go ahead and walk through the garage real quick and look at the garage from the back side. We talked about earlier how spacious this room is in right here and lots of window space, giving lots of natural light inside here. So you can see this is gonna be plenty of room inside here for both a couple of vehicles as well as if any type of workshop items or storage or anything. Plenty of room inside this area right here. Let's go ahead and walk over to the bedroom. There are two bedrooms, if I remember correctly, on this side. Uh, bedroom number one on this side of the house where they will be a built-in wardrobe closet very similar to what I'm working on right now at Villa Feliz by the way that's an upcoming video uh, a very nice big window over on this side this is a very spacious bedroom right here and this isn't the main bedroom this is actually a uh, extra bedroom on the house not the master bedroom uh, with the bathroom you can see what's done inside here be interesting to see the finishing of the tiles once we get back here we're going to go out and this is going to be a common bathroom outside for the area the common area which is the kitchen and the dining area here now this is the master bedroom area over here and if you remember this was very large a very large amount of space right here And this is going to be similar to ours, except for three times the size of our walk-in closet. And then the, the bathroom, which is, there's a lot of scaffolding here. Uh, kind of hard to see, but you'll, we'll come back once they start putting some of the finishing work inside here. The tile, the floor work, and the vanities inside here. We'll take a look at that on our next update. And this opens up to the master bedroom here. Very spacious, like I said. Everything in this house is about space. Lots of very free open space that will accommodate any need. Now before we go to the back porch area, let's go ahead and examine all of the rooms on the inside of the house. Uh, on this side, I believe there were three bedrooms. Let's see, uh, one in the very front where they're doing the plaster coat of the walls. One in the very front of the house that goes through this door right here. Okay, walking into the corner, there's going to be a closet area right here that leads you into your private bathroom here as well. Lots of scaffolding here. Again, we'll come back here and we'll visit this again once all of the uh, the tiles a lot of the, a lot of the finishing is done inside here now leaving this front bedroom there's another bedroom here on this side as well Excuse me. Ah. All right and this bedroom when you first walk in bathroom <laughs> bathroom inside here uh, this is a built-in wardrobe closet similar to the the bedroom, the very first bedroom that we walked through, lots of room in here as well. 
Okay, so I gotta be honest with you. I got so lost in here. This, I, and I gotta make some corrections as far as this open area, how the layout is in the open area. But we'll, we'll come back to that in just a moment. Uh, this is the laundry room. Uh, the laundry room is right on the side of the kitchen, which I thought the kitchen was over there, but the kitchen is actually over here. So remember, I did say correctly that the storage pantry room was back over there inside that area. Then the laundry room inside here. I had, I had to confirm with the contractor <laughs> and the owner to make sure that we hit all these spots. Again, this place is so big. It's, it's very difficult to figure out where, you need a map to get through here. This is a storage room. This is a storage room that leads into like a private area back here, which is the maid's quarters back here. Uh, the maid's quarter has their own private bath inside here. And uh, this, this is the maid's room. And something I noticed that there's another facility, another building, uh, another auxiliary building on the outside. And we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. I didn't realize that was part of the plan. Uh, we'll try to catch that from the outside. So anyway, my mistake was the fact that the layout was here. That's not the kitchen. The kitchen is back over here. Uh, that is actually the living room. That's gonna be the open living room space area right there. And then this is the dining room area here and the kitchen over here. Now I want you to look at this beautiful corner, rounded, half, quarter rounded, quarter rounded window here that's on part of the dining room area that leads to, remember when we were looking at the actual foundation when they were first started building, this area back here. And this is the lanai. I want you to look at the size of this lanai back here. This will be, this would be where I would be hanging out almost all day long. I would be sitting back here. There'll be some tables, I'm sure, back here, sipping on some nice, uh, wonderful tea uh, or whatever beverage that would be interesting for that part of the day. And then that leads to the backyard area right here. Dirty kitchen, full dirty kitchen here with counters on on both sides here for food preparation and cleaning of dishes back here. Now let's walk into the backyard area real quick. And I told you there's an auxiliary building back here. The auxiliary building, which is this, is housing a storage area and for the gas tanks, because the, the, the house will be cooking uh, and using natural gas for, for the house. And I believe this is where the, the tanks will go for the, for the gas, and then a storage unit. Let's see if I can get around here where it's easier to see. Back here, and this will be for storage. Huge area for storage. And I'm going to assume that I don't know what this is right here. All right, so I just got done talking with Romeo and Mr. Mendoza. Uh, this has nothing to do with water right here. These are actually uh, pipe conduits uh, that are gonna be accessed for all the big condenser units that are gonna be part of something that's very unusual here in the Philippines is central heating and air conditioning. Uh, these are gonna be something that we actually use in the US uh, that's kind of a standard. Uh, uh, for larger builds like this one right here. So everything will be hitting in the sub area or the above ceiling area between the roof, maybe the attic space, and on top of all the gypsum board that's going to be for the roofing. And that's gonna be all the duct work for the central heating and air conditioning unit. But this is where all the condenser units and all these pipes here are gonna provide once, this will all be ground. They'll do a backfill inside here and all of the the copper, uh, the pipe work that comes from the condenser units to the central heating and air condition, as well as all the electrical, the drains, everything will be going through this area right here. And one of the things that helps things go along a little bit quicker is the fact that the contractor here has a precast man doing the work right here on site. He does all the laying out. Uh, they put the metal inside for the reinforcement inside the precast. Uh, they have their design uh, their, their templates that they use to make all, and we'll look over on the side of the house at the precast that's being done around the windows and the doors. But this helps out with the speed, 
by helping that, it helps save money. Now here at Mr. Mendoza's house, you'll see that there's a lot of precast. All the windows have precast framing around them. Uh, the precast looks really good. And one of the things that the precast is being done right here on site. Now we're really lucky since we're talking about the precast, a lot of people wanna know, how do they actually secure the precast to the side of the house? Well, this is done with anchors and with screws inside here. This is the most secure method. I've actually seen them use nails and put the nails through there, but it's not nearly as secure as doing it like this. So you see they have this and then they'll, do, they'll fill it in with a little bit of mortar mix inside here and they'll go ahead and clean it up. And what they'll do is they'll do the primer coat and they'll do the final coat uh, of the, whatever the color the framing is going to be for the windows. Now here, they're doing the actual fabrication. The fabrication is the welding of all the ironworks, the cutting and the welding of the ironworks. And then back here in the backyard area, they're doing the primer coat. And then once it goes on the fence itself, they will complete the final coat that's going to be uh, what you're going to see when you're here at the property. for the maid's job. Is it, is, it, is it still open? It is because I worked for my dad's uh, caregiver. I'm, I'm going to give you my application. <laughs> now I don't know if you can see it uh, but there is a catwalk above where the ceiling is going to be installed. There's a catwalk and that is going to assist if there is, it has to have any maintenance done to the central heating and air conditioning. And it spans the entire attic space. You can see it, it goes in this direction. You see it goes in that direction. It's on all parts of the house where the central heating and air conditioning ductwork is going to be installed. One more thing I want to mention before it gets really noisy again with some of them with the tools going on in the background. I want you to look also at the I-beam construction. I-beam construction is normally reserved for much commercial work around here. But because of the scope of this project right here, there is a lot of very heavy, high, high uh, strength uh, metal going into this build.
Well, there you have it. We're going to close out for today uh, and close out this episode on Mr. Mendoza's build over in Barangay Mabini. Now, this is a very large build. I think this uh, the scope of this build is the biggest one that we've covered to date on our home build series here. So uh, we're going to continue to follow this with lots of interest because there's a lot of things that are different about this one uh, that are uh, you don't normally see here inside the Philippines. A lot of uh, the appliances that are going to be installed. And we'll show that probably in our last episode. We'll probably have one more episode. We'll probably come here on the completion. Well, anyway, uh, that's about it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on the little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. And if you ring that bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. From right here in the very beautiful, beautiful Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well